So this chapter opens off exactly where chapter 842 ended with Luffy going into Gear Force, blasting Cracker away. And Cracker was sent through and landed at the castle of Whole Cake Island, knocked out, and we get introduced to two new ministers and one mistress of the Charlotte family. And they are are the fifth son of the Charlotte family, that is Charlotte o- Oprah. The 19th son, that is Charlotte Mondo. And mistress, Charlotte Galette, who is the 18th daughter. And, and they are the minister of whipped cream, the minister of cheese, and the mistress of butter. So we're going to introduce those, and then everybody at Whole Cake Island all shocked, thinking that Luffy is so close by and everything because of him, of seeing Cracker being landed here and thinking that he's so close, and Luffy being so close. During this, Luffy's taking the rest to regain his stamina because we all know the effects of Gear 4 is where he, he needs 10 minutes to regain his stamina again and his full strength again after using Gear 4. And that is one of the downsides and I think the disadvantages of the gear of Luffy's gear powers is in the time where he has to regain his strength. So we end up finding the cat carriage and the cat carriage is pretty much there. Luffy goes over to get Sanji to take him home. But because of Sanji's circumstances, and we all know Sanji's circumstance with the, with the exploding cuffs that he has on his wrists well, because he finds his hands so valuable that he has to act like he never normally acts. Luffy is very good at determination and at determining that something's up and something is wrong that Sanji is acting this way. Even though they're having to fight next chapter because that's what it leads to and Sanji has to act like he's the Vince Muk Sanji and everything and acting and now he has to act like the prince and how, how his family wants him to act in front of his friends and everything. But that is because of the situation he is in. And here is, yet again I'll be mentioning it, there is a lot of similarities between Water 7 Enos Lobby with the Robin and Sanji circumstances right here and that is something that I'm really curious about what's going to be happening at this point in time is how is Sanji going to get out of here there's a lot of scenarios that I can think of and can come up with that would lead us to him breaking free but at the same time there is a lot of sub circumstances that I think can get him away from this uh, this this predicament as well predicament as well so, after this, it really has cut to the point where where he, he mentions all that, and Luffy knows that what he's saying, that he doesn't believe those words that Sanji's le- saying, and you know Luffy, he's stubborn, he knows when, when one of his crewmates are saying something that they don't mean, he knows it, and Sanji knows he, he's going to be still stubborn, even if he, they go fighting, he is going to still rescue him, go after him as well, because... His circumstances is, is something that not that he shouldn't be dealing with his own. When Luffy has a crew member, he we know that he will be supporting him and saying that you need you need to allow your friends to help you as well to get you out of this predicament. You can't just do it on your own, and that's pretty much what Luffy is thinking and is actually doing at this point in time. And this reminds me of when Robin was. In, in, yeah, confronting Luffy as well during War 17 in the Slobby two years ago I'm g- going by two years via arc time via st- One Piece time 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 here two years ago go during the Enos Lobby and War 7 because she had Spadam with the Buster Call on their throats on their necks on her neck and everything saying that he will kill the Straw Hats via Buster Call if she doesn't do what what he says and this is similar circumstances right here with Sanji and it, it and and his father Jaji as well he got put on the cuffs 
and it says, if you don't do as I say, don't follow off and becoming my scapegoat on getting into this marriage and everything like that, that then mass, then you're pretty much his father owner's heir, because in theory, like I said last time, I always treat, I always thought of owner's heir as his actual real father then, Jaji, will, will, will see his fate on our hands and you do not want that, do you? And even after them, we will be going after the Straw Hats and getting rid of them as well. So you better do as we say. That is similar to to Robin and the, and the Spadam incident back at Enos Lobby and Water 7. So there's a lot of similarities right here between the two. And Oda likes sometimes reusing some plot lines from previous arts because they might come in handy again for another character and it is working really really well for for Luffy and San, uh, for Sanji in this story arc and I mean it's working really 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 well for this story arc and I don't even know what to say about it it just really shows that it's showing everything that needs to be shown and it is really really great so like always comment down below what you liked and didn't like about this week's chapter of one piece chapter 843 down in the comment sections below let me know what you think about what's going to be happening and have you also noticed the similarities between the war seven and Enos lobby arc with the year of sanji arc or the whole cake island arc down in the comment sections below I've been your host, Kai from Kaiser Team Corner, member of the Double O Club, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye for now. See ya. I have did enjoy this chapter a lot. Oda has brung up the A game and the fact that we, we might be seeing uh, in chapter 844 Luffy versus Sanji. So there was a lot of reminiscence of Water 7 and Enos and Enos Loving similarities here. But other than that, I did enjoy this review, and like always, if you want to see my other previous uh, reviews of One Piece or the playlist at this point in time, you can hit that i button because I, if I remember doing the cards, you can hit that i button at any point and check them out. Check them out. If you got and if you liked what you saw, if you want to keep up to date with all my videos, you can hit that subscribe button. Wait, what the, that red button down below? You can hit that. Yeah, you can hit that. Uh, you can hit that red button so you can subscribe to my channel and actually be able to continue following me. And also, if you want to, get, if you're on your mobile devices and watching it via the mobile YouTube app, you can hit that bell icon. That bell icon will allow you to be notified every time I've been uploading a video and keep up to date with that and be notified of when I upload the videos. I think the website actually now incorporates the bell icon as well. So if you see that bell icon, hit that bell icon so you can actually keep up to date with all my videos once you hit once you become a subscriber. Also, if you've got Facebook, I have got a Facebook fan page. You can follow me there. I try and post as much as possible on it, but my videos get it's quickly posted on Twitter as well. You can find the links for both my Twitter account and my YouTube fan Facebook fan page down in the comment sections below. Now, if you've got that Anime Amino app, and I mean it, if you've got that Anime Amino app, just search for Kai's OT Corner, and you can follow me on there as much as possible. But like I said, I don't go on it much. So, but other than that, give this video a like if you liked what you saw, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. See ya.